What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this exercise, I'm going to show you how to create a hydronic return piping system. So let's say for example, you are placing an air-cooled chiller outside the basement of the building. That is what we are going to do. And this chiller that we are going to put will discharge to the base mounted pump that we are going to insert later on which will circulate the chilled water throughout the building so for example that's the scenario so we are going to place mechanical equipment that will gonna be our uh, base mounted pump and also we are going to create the hydronic return system layout and then I'm gonna show you how to edit the piping system properties and then let's try to uh, size the piping system okay so let's do this as you can see there's already the insertion point for the chiller as well as the base pump okay so we already have here our equipment so this is an ahu inspection module so in 3d view this is how it looks like do we have a separate 3d view here no okay so i'll just click this one okay so this is how the model looks like Okay, so by the way, if I'm going to click this one, this coil here, you will notice we have here several connectors, right? So we have a connector for the supply. We have a connector for the pipe here. Okay, so if you want to check what type of connector is this one, so what you do is just click the family and then edit the family. Okay, and then you can now see here the type of the connector that we have here. So this one, okay, this is our uh, hydronic supply connector. So any pipe that you, that you will be creating from this one, the system classification of that will going to be hydronic supply. So this one is our hydronic return. So this is where we are going to create our uh, hydronic return pipe. Okay, and also this uh, family has the capability to create your uh, duct as well. So this duct is a supply air. So the flow direction is bidirectional. And then this one here is also a connector for your uh, duct. So this is also a supply air just like the other side. Okay, so we have here how many connectors? So we have four connectors. Okay, so supply and return pipe, and then this one is supply duct, and then supply duct. Okay, alright, so let me just uh, close this family, and let's go back again to our project. Okay, so here, I'm going to select one dash Mac, I'm going to select here view, and then select tile view, so that I'll be able to see the 3D model here as well. This one, okay. So let's insert first our mechanical equipment here, the chiller. Mechanical equipment, let's go to the systems tab. Mechanical, you can click mechanical equipment. The shortcut is ME. In this exercise, the chiller and then the base pump is already loaded in the project. In case it's, uh, in case it's not yet loaded, so you can go to mechanical equipment and then you can select load family and then locate the family that you would like to insert in your project okay now for this one chiller is already selected this is the one that i'll be using so i'm now going to place my chiller so you can press a space bar do not click yet you can press a space bar to rotate space bar again and then space bar again there you go so that's the position that i prefer for the chiller so i'm not gonna place it here there you go so while the mechanical equipment tool is still active so i'm gonna click this drop down arrow here and then let's look for the base mounted pump model 4 by 6 so let's click this and let's again this is our base pump insertion point that one so let's press space bar, space bar, space bar. Okay. And then let's place it here. Okay. And then modify. Now, if you want to place that exactly this corner to the intersection of this uh, reference plane, you can use align. So let's go to align, modify, 
let's select here align you can type al for the shortcut so let's select this and then that side and there you go so it's now align and then select your modify okay again if i'm gonna click this uh chiller you will notice we have here connector for uh supply and then return okay so uh, supply and return pipe and same with our uh, pump here so let's go here so for our pump so we have how many connectors so we have an electrical connector here so we also have a pipe here four inches then this one the in is six inches okay right so after we place our equipment the next thing that we will be doing is we're going to create relation between this uh, coil here this one and also this one okay so we are going to create a relation to this uh, coil okay so we are going to create a system so how to do that so you can just click one of the coil and then after that here on our create system so you have two systems here that you can create you have duct system and then you have piping system why do we have two because we have connector for duct and pipe in this family here that's why you can see duct piping if you only have a pipe connector in this family you will not be able to see that duct uh, option okay now for this one we're going to create piping so let's click this and then for the system type, we're not going to do a hydronic supply. We're going to create hydronic return. So that's why I'm going to select hydronic return. And then for the name here, I'll just put, uh, let's say, chilled water return. C-H-W-R. Okay, and then I'm going to open in system editor. And then select your OK. So by doing this, after you select OK, it will automatically open the system editor. Okay, so let's do this. Open OK. And then here on our system editor, so we are going to add to system this one here. Okay, so let's click this so that it will be added to the system. So there you go. Okay. So now the next thing that I'm going to do is I also want to add my chiller. This one, right? But that will going to be my equipment. So I'm going to select here. Select equipment. And then we're going to click our equipment here. That one. All right. Okay. And then after that, so we are now ready to finish. Let's click finish. There you go. Okay. So checking our system browser. So you can right click browsers, system browser. Click that. Okay. And then you can see here we now have one piping system. So if you expand that. So we now have here our chilled water return pipe. And then we have there our system classification then we have the equipment here so it will highlight you will notice it highlights and then this is the name of the system if you click that it will highlight and then this is the two coil that is part of the system right now the next thing that we will be doing we are going to add our base mounted pump to the connection later on after we create the piping for our uh, coils two coil and then our equipment here okay so let's generate first the pipe automatically and then later i'm going to show you how to manually edit create your piping manually okay so i'm going to select one of the coil here that is part of the system this one i can also select this one so it's up to you so i can click one and then after that from the layout so there is this tool connect into okay so let's click this one right oh what did i select so i selected connect into not connect into but generate layout sorry so generate layout so layout generate layout did i say connect into anyway it should be generate layout so let's click that one 
Okay, so here is now our connection from the equipment. So as you can see, we have network here. For the network solution, we have five solutions. So currently, it shows here one. So if I select this, it becomes two, three, four, five. Right? But I'm just going to select here this one. So let's say I use four of five. By the way, the color blue here that you are seeing, that is our uh, main pipe. And then the green pipe or the green line that you are seeing here, that will going to be our branch pipe. Okay? So don't forget that. Okay, so this is now our connection. So you can still modify this one if you want. You can select here, um, edit layout. You can click that. And then let's say it's too tight here. You can you can click that and then you can use the move. It's up to you. So let's say uh, this one. So I can click that and then I can, oh, this one, this one here. I can select that and then I can move it, let's say, for example, here. Okay, so you can you can edit the pipe. So you can click and then you can see here the the move icon. Okay, and then you can go back again to the solution if you want. And then that's it for this one. So if you're going to click the, if you're going back to the edit layout, you can click the pipe here or the main pipe branch pipe you will notice here the height right so that is the height by default of our pipe after we create it so later on we can still modify that don't worry so i'm just showing you how to use automatic layout so after that let's finish the layout let's select finish layout and there you go so we now have our connection here okay so what we're gonna do is we're going to include our pump here to our connection okay we're going to connect that here okay so here on my top view so I'm going to split my pipe okay so let's now do this manually so a while ago we created this automatically right so this time let's do it manually so let's go to modify and then let's click split element click that and then I'm gonna check here delete inner segment so that when I click two points one two it will create an opening and then select your modify and then there's a coupling here just delete that one we don't need that so every time you split there's a coupling that is created automatically okay there you go okay now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a pipe coming from this pump here so I can do that in the 3d view so what's the height of this? Let's click this pipe. So the height is 9 feet, right? So I'm going to click this pump here. And then after that, I'm going to click that icon to create the pipe like that. And then before you click, you can change here the middle elevation. So we can type here 9 for 9 feet. Oops. 9. There you go. And then apply. Okay, and then you can create a small segment here, like that, and then I select here, modify, okay? So, this one, if you click, you will notice that is supply, okay, and then this is a return, okay, so this is a return, so they are, they are different system okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to edit this one so this one if i click and then create a pipe here and then click here so that's another pipe right okay now i'm gonna select this one and then here on the system type i'm gonna change that to hydronic return so make sure they are both same system right so it should be return as well that's why make sure you check your piping system so that you are doing it properly now just to make sure they are aligned so i'm going to select modify here 
and then I'm gonna use a line tool okay so make sure this two is aligned so I'm gonna select from here so you can press tab that one click and then let's align this one as well so tab click all right so they are now aligned so make sure this is also aligned so for this one I want that to be connected here so I'm going to use align as well so align and then this one there you go so it's now aligned so we can now connect this one so we can use a trim extend to corner so let's click here on our 3d view this one and then this one there you go and then select here modify now for this pipe here so let me just click that pipe click right click and then draw pipe you can just create a uh, small segment of pipe so let's say five or nine if you if you want you can also type nine and then select here apply there you go and then modify now this one since they are already aligned so you can now use three mix extend to corner to connect this one to here there you go okay so our connection is now completed so our base pump if I'm gonna check out my system browser you can now see here that our base mounted pump is now part of CHWR it's now part of my hydronic return okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to let me just close this one so let us try to size the piping system okay so I'm going to zoom in here let me just move this one because this one is too close so let me click that so it's just too close so let me just move something like that okay right so let us now try to uh, size this so just hover your pointer okay or maybe you can just click it so you can select like that or if you want you can select this whole connection here that one and then there is this tool here dock pipe sizing so we are gonna use the pipe sizing so let's click that one and then we this is now our pipe sizing dialog box so we are going we are going to size it so velocity I'm gonna check it I'm gonna size it by velocity and then for the velocity here so 4 FPS and then end option so it will gonna be velocity and friction okay so I'll just use this uh, these default settings and I'm not going to restrict the size so I'll just select your okay there you go so it's now size based on that uh, sizing method okay so Revit will size that automatically there you go this is our exercise for system piping so this is how you do it so you can create it automatically and then you can also create it manually okay so automatically I would suggest you only do this if you are just on conceptual design if you just want to create a quick layout just to show to your client that this is your capability you can do this and you can also create manually okay so manual you do use that during the design already you don't do automatic during the design so it would be better just do it manually okay so based on the engineers uh, design Alright, so there you go. So hopefully you learned something from uh, this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day.